family. Welcome to Free Stray Friday. So we ended up with a bulk supply of mini bells, a bulk supply of onions, and a bulk supply of jalapenos. So today we're gonna show you, since this is a staple food in our household, we eat a lot of burritos and fajitas and tacos. So we're gonna show you how we prepare peppers and onions for storage for freeze dry. Are you ready? Not to mention that we've got fajita meat cooking behind you on the stove. All right, Grayson, are you ready to start chopping? Yes. All right, here we go. Okay, Grayson, so what are you doing? Uh, we are cutting up the bell peppers and then putting them in our freeze-dry trays. Okay, so let's look at the freeze-dry tray. We're just, go ahead. And we're just cutting the top off of these and then cutting them in half and cutting those halves in half. To quartering. Yes. And we use this for what? Uh, anything really, oh. tacos or burritos, depending on our meal. So okay. Too. Absolutely. All right, so we're going to do a tray of these for certain. We may do a second tray depending on what we've got. All right. Yep. And then our next pepper that we're working on. Okay, so with the bull jalapenos, we do these in a coin shape. Kind of can identify them a little bit better. And we're just using our mandolin. You can see there's still seeds on here. And these will go on a tray as well. And we use these when we're cooking any spicy soups or anything like that. We also put the freeze-dried ones into our bread. Like, share, subscribe, ring a bell, and follow us. <laughs> Sorry. Like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and um, follow us for Free Star Friday. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, and ring a bell, and follow us for, for Free Star Friday. Okay, Miss Grayson, so you've got, well, for one, don't touch your lips after you've cut all those jalapenos. That's a tip. Number eight, please cut this out. And then my lips are burning now. Um, you've got all of the mini bells that we have ready for tonight cut. So we're going to have you put these trays in the freeze dryer. Ready, set, go. All right, so what do you have? Onions. They're just sliced because this is how we will use them in the future. Are you ready? Yes. Get these in the freeze dryer. We'll get going on this. Okay. Hi. Right. We're back. And I took out all of the freeze dried trays and all of that and put them into bags. So and the onions onions, jalapenos, and bell peppers. How many bags did you end up with? Five. Five bags. Two of them are onions. Three, Three of them are onions. One's jalapenos and one is bell peppers. All right. So now that they're in the Mylar bags, what's our next step? You're going to drop those? <laughs> what's our next step that we need to do to get these bags ready for, um, ready for storage? Seal them. Okay, and put what uh, inside? A uh, oxygen absorber. Oxygen absorber inside and seal them. And then these go into our storage for later. Now with the Mylar bags, and we'll put a link below. Yes. Can you point below? Good job. Okay, so <laughs> we'll put a link below to the Mylar bags that we pick up on Amazon. And then all you do is write with a Black Sharpie. Black. And write the date so you know when year and day it was from. And then why do we write the date on it? That way, uh, freeze dried foods can last about seven years. Well, the meats, yeah, meats yeah. you want to do seven to ten. Vegetables can last up to 25. But we eat the older ones first so we rotate our stock when we're looking for product. All right. So we're already on to the next freeze dry project. Mm -hmm. So we will see you on the next video. Bye. Say so bye for now.